Hello, and welcome to FertilityFriend.com's chart interpretation video series. Victoria's chart was chosen for this video chart interpretation because it shows the importance of looking at the big picture and overall patterns rather than at individual temperatures and data points. Victoria is asking what could have caused that temperature spike on cycle day 11. It could have been related to a number of things, night waking, illness, exercise, stress, or a change in her sleeping environment or the weather, or it could just be a fluke. In any case, a single unusual temperature or data point is usually nothing to be very concerned about. What's important is to look at the overall pattern. When you see a single higher temperature like this, it's also important to keep on considering that you could still be fertile, even if it happens when you might expect ovulation. We need to see a sustained thermal shift to be sure of ovulation. On Victoria's chart, that higher temperature is not accompanied by any other sign of increased fertility, and Victoria keeps on considering that she could be fertile. This cycle, intercourse is well-timed for the day of ovulation, but there's no pregnancy. Victoria's cycle has a few unusual characteristics. They may be normal for her, or they may be due to the breastfeeding which she has noted. First, she has not observed fertile cervical fluid right up to her ovulation date. When fertile cervical fluid is scant or not present, it becomes more important to time intercourse as close to ovulation as possible. One of the roles of cervical fluid is to keep the sperm nourished while they wait for the ovum to be released. They won't be able to survive as long without the presence of fertile cervical fluid, so it's important to have intercourse closer to ovulation in this case. Second, her luteal phase, the time between ovulation and her period, is on the short side of normal. A short luteal phase can make it difficult to have enough time for a fertilized egg to implant. Many women do conceive with a 10-day luteal phase without any problem, and this is something her doctor can help her with if it's taking a long time to conceive. But if the luteal phase does not lengthen after weaning her nursing child, and if it's taking a long time to conceive in spite of well-timed intercourse, this is something Victoria should mention to her doctor. We wish Victoria the very best for her cycle ahead.